Well, as you can see, I'm just failing, but this is actually uh, the first cigarette. Uh, I had actually had a, like a little piece of one and just started this one today. So I'm doing pretty good. And I mean, because I used to smoke a pack and a half a day, so I'm batting a thousand. So uh, today's story, you know, people, a lot of people, some people know, some people don't, but uh, I don't care because I threw that shit out there. I'm in recovery. I'm a recovering addict. Um, I shot drugs for a lot of years, in and out, all kinds of drugs. What my drug of choice? What do you got? That that's my drug of choice. You know. So I want to tell the story when I first decided to get clean. This is probably um, early to mid '90s. Probably somewhere somewhere like that. I was working for this company, and a real good company. They, you know, it was a union, and, you know, they, they, I mean, a lot of benefits, and great job, you know. And uh, so I went to them and said, hey, you know, I'm having a problem, and they sent me away for 30 days. All right, cool. They paid for it, so I went. So I come back, and I was good for, like, about nine months, and then something happened in my life, something personal. And I used that as an excuse to go back and use. That's what it was. I wanted to use because that's what happened. So um, then, uh, you know, I stayed using for, you know, a couple of years. And then I decided to, you know, go back to them and say, hey, you know, I'm still having trouble. And they sent me away again. And they paid for it. So this time I was in there for, you know, for 30 days or whatever. I come come back out and I stay clean for about I don't know about three months I fall off again so you know the company I'm working for is real patient God bless them you know I, I, I wouldn't be here without them honestly you know what I mean um, you know even though it didn't work back then but you know it planted the seed to where it was gonna be but I didn't know that then so I want to say mid to late 90s I decide to go in again and this time when I go in I don't even know why I went because I went in and as soon as they let me out I was gone you know so it really you know I already had it in my head I had you know reservations you know reservations you know you make them you're like okay I'm gonna be here at this time I'm gonna pack my bags I'm gonna be ready to go you know what I mean you're just you're just waiting really for a time to a time or excuse or whatever and, and that's no way to live, you know. I mean, it's uh, if you if that's how you are, then you need to be real with yourself, and uh, accept, you know, what your thoughts are, and and actually get with people that are going your way, that try to help you along the way. And I I ran into a lot of those over the years, and you know, uh, the last five years have been great. You know, uh, before that, I, I just wanted to die. I was just I had it, and uh, you know, if you hold on, it you know it gets greater later. That's that's the truth, you know, and when that feeling comes, you know, call somebody. It only lasts 15 minutes. That feeling can go away. You just got to talk to somebody. Get it out of you, you know what I mean? Because there's no, there's, you're going to die. Flat out. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. You're going to die. You continue. That's what's going to happen. Jails, institutions, and death. That's what's guaranteed. Anyway, this is just a short little story or whatever of my life. And I throw it out there. I don't give a shit. Like, subscribe, don't. I don't give a fuck. Comment. I don't give a fuck. Say whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. Peace. Bitches.